You guys have been good. So we're going to give you a couple more. Okay, hope everybody's having a good Thursday. I know I am. Um, I got some neat stuff in the mail, and I also got some uh, thrift store pickups. I guess we'll go just go through the pile how it sets. Um, there's nothing um, special. I paid a dollar twenty-nine or dollar thirty-nine for this. I'm not exactly sure. From the Albin Cest Chic. This is Lee Freak. I'm sure people are familiar with that. It had just the, the dust jacket or the cover, so I thought, eh, you know what? It's from the early 1980s. I just thought that'd be kind of fun to grab. Nin oh, 1978. So, yeah, there we go. I thought that was kind of fun. And I picked up two more records. This one I know nothing about. Uh, this one is Richard Shapiro and El Sion, Rin, Tung, and Dorner, the music. I'm not sure what this is, but it's from 2018. Brand new, still factory sealed. With the free MP3 download. Ooh. So, no idea. <laughs> Excuse me. Lizard Soul. I don't know what all this is, but so that sounds kind of interesting. Im Immersive Story Experiences by Richard Shapiro. Get the Too Far Media app available now. No idea. So, it's fusing fiction, music, and art. So, I don't know. Maybe the guy reads a story. Um, then this one's kind of amusing here. I think it's some Christmas, Christian Christmas, Christian music, I think. I'm not exactly sure what all it's about, but it's uh, Terry Br Bradshaw's Until You. Uh, Terry Bradshaw, Until You. This is, looks like it came out in like 1982 or something like that. Oh, 1980. Good old 1980, and there's old Terry right there. I think he was still playing then. Maybe he retired? I, I'm not sure. I think he was still playing. I played up until at 86 or 87, maybe. I don't remember all of Terry Bradshaw's uh, exciting career, but uh, I guess he was just bored during the off-season and figured I'll just make some sort of album. He did uh, everything. He still does. Um, then we got a postcard here from Ellensburg, Washington. And there's the one I sent. It got a little beat up, but it's still... still. Uh, and uh, there, there that is. Uh, Yakima got stamped over it, but that's all right. I can read Ellensburg. That's perfectly fine. So there's that. Then we have an eBay purchase, and um, this is cool. I know President Michael will like this, and several other um, movie memorabilia collectors will, will like this stuff here. It's not super valuable. I think I paid $5 a piece for each item. Uh, he still has mountains. So if you look up um, Point Break, 2015 there was a remake of Point Break in 2015 it just kind of did okay at the box office I got one business card and I had mentioned to somebody that I ordered a fake business card and let me just look really quickly here um, let me just go to a Point Break here I forgot the actor's name I should do should do this Oops. I think it might have been filmed over overseas. Um, so there's an actor that used one of these items. Um, there were multiple, so whether he used it or not, but it was production used. Um, let's see if I can find... Uh, it was... If I can find him here. Oh, great. Oh, he might be in the... This is what happens. You try to find somebody that you... Uh, uh, he played... Uh, this guy played Mr. Hall. Um, I'll just type in Hall. Okay, so this is Delroy Lindo, and this is a business card. C. Hall, U.S. Department of Justice, Federal Bureau of Investigation. C. Hall, Theory Instructor, FBI Academy, uh, Quantico, Virginia. And it's a fake business card. I just thought it was really cool here. And there's a bunch of stuff by Delroy Lindo here about him. All kinds of stuff. He, I think he's from the UK. Um, yes, he was born in uh, Eltham, London, U England, UK. So I just thought that was kind of cool to have. He had actually two of these and I actually saw another auction that completed uh, for his ID badge and, um, and a, a business card that went with it. So how many of these were printed? I, I don't really know. Um, but there's that one. That's kind of neat. Um, and then I have a fake badge here also, so it's five dollars. If you know anything about um, prop badges from movies, they're usually at least ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty dollars. 
uh, depending on what movie it is. But this was again five dollars. This is uh, says P Bondi unrestricted access. And if we go back here, I found out who that man was. Um, he was an uncredited actor. This was Manfred Carlson. It says he was a FBI head, un uncredited. Now the funny thing about these badges here is that, um, and he's actually from Germany. Uh, he's a German playing a U.S. A federal FBI agent. So that's interesting. A lot of these were Germans. That was really Germans. Um, that was really interesting. And there's the back of it or the bottom of it. So I thought this was kind of cool. You could put this in a badge holder, and uh, you could put your own picture there. Just don't don't uh, use this at an airport or anything. Um, but five dollars a piece. Uh, I'll have to get the Blu-ray or DVD of um, Point Break and see if I can find either of these props uh, used in there. Uh, but the, like I said, the funny thing was is that um, a lot of these had different names on it with different pictures. So he's not P. Bondi on every one of these. Well, he might be on this one, but some of the other characters they reuse the names on some of the so the slips of paper because maybe they weren't shown easily on camera or far behind. Now, next thing I got here was a TTM, which everybody is waiting for. And this came in an 8x10 envelope, and I said I thought I did all my 8x10 envelopes. Um, oh, sorry, Mr. Um, Mr. Carlson does not have very many uh, IMDb uh, credits there, so he's not very much of a uh, popular actor. Um, and this came from, 8x10 request came from Frank Bonner from WKRP. Sorry, my camera's not set up right here. Frank Bonner, he played Herb Tarlek to Henry, rock and roll. That's really awesome. And um, I found this on eBay, and uh, I had to buy a lot of pictures, and it was cheaper to do that, to get that one. Thank you, Caleb, for the address. Uh, dear Henry, uh, my wife was so touched by your letter, she suggested I send you another. Enjoy. Best wishes on this Razorback Productions here. And he sent this. Uh, Dr. Johnny Fever in quotes, uh, Venus Flytrap in quotes, and Herb Tarlek. Um, it does not look like that was signed, um, but that's kind of interesting. So I got a picture of them, um, of the three guys there. That's kind of interesting why he didn't sign that. I got a free picture there. Well, that's cool. Uh, I could probably display that somehow with the other one on the other side of that. So that's kind of neat. I, I tried to look for something like a TV guide or, or an original picture. This one, I think, is just some sort of a um, reprint, uh, later reprint uh, from the, the 80s. Not really sure what the deal with that one. It's got some sort of mimeographed CBS thing on the back there. Um, but TV guides were few and far between, and they were like 15 to $30, and I forget that. This was more like $6, 5 or $6, uh, with some menial shipping. Uh, we got two more items. It's taking forever a day to get this done. I got Yellowstone National Park um, map here from like the late 50s, early 60s, so I thought that was cool. Didn't cost very much. And... We got three more things here. We have um, uh, a sheet of 50 cent stamps from Ireland. I'm not sure if they're still usable or not. Somebody had stuck them in a picture frame, 5x7, that I just found like that. And I got this neat picture of a truck. It looks like it's dated 67. Much older truck, though, but I just thought it was a nice um, 7x9x7 by by or 7x9, whatever. So that's kind of cool there. Old, old photograph of some sort of hay truck there. Probably an old military type truck uh, used for, uh, don't know. And then uh, I got this uh, in the Eye of a Mighty Storm Life magazine. And the reason why I grabbed it is there's a neat picture of Alan Shepard in here at the, the control desk back in 1961. So I just thought that was really cool to have that. This was about 40 cents for this magazine. So that was really neat. And there were some of the other awesome pictures in there that I had to get this for. So that, that sealed the deal. That was cool. And the last thing I got here was this thing called Cherry Pit 1923. I think they charged me kids book price. And it's just an old um, school annual from 1923 of some East Coast uh, grade school or whatever. So I just thought that, or grade school, high school, I'm not really sure. So I just thought that was kind of fun to have and from 1923. That's just a long time ago. There can't be very many of these out there. Um, whoever's in that class had that and it's tied with a ribbon. So I've talked on too long. I also um, gave away some baseball cards to one of my friends. I finally got that taken care of. And neat props. And if you want to check that seller out on eBay, I cannot remember, but just type in Point Break 2015 and type in the word prop and you'll find maybe a few more business cards and you'll find a whole pile of ID cards. You won't find the actors' names with them so you have to research them and they're all Germans. 
uh, more or less. And uh, thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed some of that. Thank you.